Greetings gamers, it's me, Alex, back with another discussion video. Today I wanted to talk about the topic of whether or not the MMORPG Monkey Quest will ever come back, whether that be through an official revival or through a fan-made remake. Today I won't be covering any of the legal issues behind a Monkey Quest remake, simply because that's not my area of expertise. I'll today be focusing on the logistics of a Monkey Quest remake, and if a Monkey Quest remake is even possible. Let's first take a look at the possibility of an official revival from Nickelodeon. This is incredibly unlikely. For one, Nick's MMO division is long shut down. Additionally, the company has cut their ties with Behavior Interactive, the company responsible for producing Monkey Quest. Any emails or attempts to reach out to Nickelodeon have been met with silence, and my IP address is likely on their block list. Overall, it sadly seems incredibly unlikely that Nickelodeon would ever revive the game. Our community is too small as of now for a sizable profit to be made from such an endeavor. So what about a fan-made revival? Fan-made revivals have been attempted by multiple different groups with varying success. The earliest was the now-disassembled Luminex Studios in 2017. Luminex was able to create a working website and extract some of the models from Monkey Quest. However, they did not get very far. The project was disassembled due to legal fears. Next was Monkey Quest Rewritten, helmed by Victi. This project made major progress. A playable 2014 version of Clock Tower Square was even implemented, however, no interactables existed. This project was shut down due to a DMCA notice from Nickelodeon, however, this was later found out to be faked. Next was Dictator Studios' attempt at a Monkey Quest remake. Dictator Studios was founded by a 9 year old. The final and most successful attempt so far was Monkey Quest Reborn. Monkey Quest Reborn was able to successfully re-engineer the code of the original game and made huge strides in progress. The project was ultimately shut down due to legal fears, but this has been the most success. Because of this, we will look at some of the major pitfalls this project hit along the way. We will look at three specific areas of struggle, funding, development, and professionality. The first and most obvious pitfall is funding. Running servers for a multiplayer game can be expensive. Additionally, acquiring the development tools necessary to revive a game as large as Monkey Quest is no easy task, and can take quite a heavy financial burden. The project was kept alive through funding from the development team. However, any group who seeks to recreate Monkey Quest will need a steady source of income in order to keep the servers active. The main issue with keeping the servers alive is no profit can be directly made from the game's website or the game itself due to copyright law. This adds yet another hurdle to keeping servers open. Secondly, let's take a look at the struggles with development. Reverse engineering any game, let alone an MMORPG, is a massive feat. Monkey Quest is composed of hundreds of thousands of lines of code written by many different programmers and developers, all of which would need to be understood in order to remake the game. Even developers who are incredibly skilled in C-sharp, such as Frostrix and Victi, who helmed previous Monkey Quest remake attempts, struggled with the code of Monkey Quest. MQ's code is also severely outdated, with much of it being incompatible with modern versions of Unity, the engine in which MQ was coded. We also have a small community compared to other games, making the pool of developers knowledgeable with C-sharp, the coding language Monkey Quest was coded in, even smaller. Overall, any future Monkey Quest remake attempt would need to acquire multiple incredibly skilled developers in C-sharp. Finally, let's take a look at the issue of professionality. A major problem that has faced MQ communities in the past, including my own, is keeping a good public appearance. At the end of the day, a vast majority of the player base is between the ages of 13 and 18, and most of us, including myself, are inexperienced with leadership. Monkey Quest Reborn had major moderation issues, from power users who would punish those they disagree with, to unclear warn systems, to needless ad hominems being thrown at users who were asking simple questions. I do not wish to name names here, as for one, many of these users have apologized for their actions, and I mean no ill will or cancelling through this video. I only mean that any Monkey Quest remake needs to be able to take on an air of professionalism, and carry on the torch that Nickelodeon left behind. We may not all agree with Nickelodeon's decisions, but Nick was able to create an environment that was not only fun for everyone, but welcoming. I am sure we all have memories of playing through trails with randoms as we tried to figure out our way through the game. 
We need to foster that environment of exploration, open discussion, and a welcoming community. Any new Monkey Quest remake needs to be not only prepared to build the game, but foster the community, and be willing to help those in need and not let ideological or social differences come between user and moderator. Overall, these three issues will be the biggest challenge to any Monkey Quest remake, but honestly, I still have some faith the community can do it. Sure, another Monkey Quest remake is far off and perhaps may not even happen, but just because we lost the game doesn't mean we have to lose the community with it. Shameless self-promotion, of course, but I own a Discord server linked in the description below, yes really shameless self-promotion, called New Ook, with over 250 members at the time of writing. Sure, it's small. But the important part is daily. I see people of all ethnicities, religions, sexualities, everything, coming together to talk about a game that they all loved, a game I, and considering if you've made it this far, you probably love as well. Just because the game is dead does not mean we have to lose our sense of community. Sure, we have our dramas from time to time, but we are still here, burning bright. This game may be long dead, but the community is strong. A remake may never come, but we will always be there. Our embers have been burning for six years now since it seemed our torch was about to be put out. With the help of all our community and even you, our flames can never die. So, if you want, feel free to join New Ook in the link below. But this isn't just about shameless self-promotion, even though I do indulge in that. Monkey Quest was great. With the community, not just my Discord server, but the net of YouTube channels and other servers representing Monkey Quest can be even greater. I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful day.